this is Thy Kusk, and today I'll be talking about the stereotypes for my lovely son, Sign Capcorn. And if I seem a bit off, I am. That's why I haven't been uploading videos lately. I just feel bad for not uplo uh, uploading something, so here you have something. Anyways, I want to do a What is Up with Blank Sign series, so I might as well start off with my sun sign since I've been surrounded by stereotypes of it since I was like six years old, so... I know it pretty well, and that is where my inspiration came from in the first place. So if you want me to do another sign, comment down below which sign I should do next, and that that is just how this is gonna go. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's start with the video, I guess. Um, basically, Capricorn's main stereotypes and how they're basically described is, let's see, conservative serious, stick up their ass, um, very satirical, um, out of place humor that not everyone gets. You know, that's like what Capricorn's mainly described as and also hardworking, which, you know, the hardworking thing, I'll start off with that one first actually, the hardworking thing, like, you know, differs, alright? It's a black and white situation. Capricorn's a lot like Scorpio, and that's kind of weird since Capricorn's a sex, like, Capricorn's Scorpio or sextile. So that means they're in two different um, elements. You know, they're just both feminine signs. And feminine means introverted, which is kind of weird that they don't just use introverted or extroverted. No, it's feminine and masculine. You think of gender expression rather than, you know, you know, what's it, personality uh, type. So that is what is up um, with those two signs. And, um, so basically, they're not in the same element. They're just in the same, like, category of introversion. Which is very weird that they share a lot in common. So, you know, Capricorn has this black and white mentality on some things. That is how hard they work. Sometimes they're really lazy and sometimes they're really motivated. And it really depends on the subject. And I think that ties into the stupidity thing, obviously. Capricorn introverted sign, that doesn't mean like Capricorns can't be extroverted. Like, look at me. I am an extroverted person. I am an ENFP. But with, um, you know, just the sign in general, um, obviously they don't want to just blurt out everything they're thinking. Like, I don't do that even, and I'm an extrovert, all right? So that is what introvert really means with feminine signs. They like to keep some things private to themselves, so... Capricorn wanting to keep some thoughts private to themselves, they're not going to blurt out all their knowledge to everyone, which, you know, they come off as stupid in that sense. But obviously they may know more than what they're saying, and in general everyone is stupid, and everyone is smart, you know, it really depends on the subjects and uh, whatnot. <laughs> obviously everyone has different kinds of intelligences and gifts and whatnot that they can pretty much throw out there, but not everyone has the same gifts or the same intelligences. So it is, you know, not a really the best thing to say that, hey, you're stupid, you're smart, you know, because everyone kind of has their own abilities and that, and some of them excel others and other things. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but you get my point, okay? Everyone excels at different things, <laughs> and obviously the main intelligence explained that common core high school intelligence, it isn't something that everyone achieves, and people achieve other intelligences than just that one. So I think that's where we really get the stupidity and smartness thing from. Not everyone is achieving that high school common core intelligence, but, you know, going after different things. Some people may excel in art more, some people may excel in other things more. You know, that's just what's going down with that. But, you know, Capricorn just generally doesn't like to blurt out everything. So that is why they're mostly described as, you know, stupid. Um, now let's just move on, okay? Basically, there is also the conservative thing and the stick up their ass and satirical humor. Satirical humor, well, they, they've they come from Scorp- they, they have a lot in common with Scorpio, but they come after Sagittarius, and Sagittarius is really described as a humor sign. Also, Gemini is, and Gemini is Sagittarius' sister, obviously. So, you know, when they- 
come after Sagittarius, well, you know, their humor is going to be a bit dark. You know, Cancer comes after Gemini and Cancer is Capricorn sister, okay? Cancer is very, uh, let's see, what is the word? I'm sorry, I feel very out of it, but basically slapstick. Yeah, ca Cancer represents slapstick humor, <laughs> you know, just like people falling down, stuff like that. Capricorn is more than people falling down, it is more intense jokes and some edgy humor like dashed on top of it. So that is really where Capricorn's stance on humor is and it's very off-putting to a lot of people. Basically, their humor is an edgy meme page and sometimes it excels edgy meme page. It is over, it transcends from the edgy meme page. So that is just what is up with that. Um, let's see, seriousness obviously, it's Saturn. They're ruled by Saturn. They're gonna have a resting bitch face. But that's all right, all right? If you, you got that rest, you know, just rock it, okay? I rock it every day. <laughs> it happens. Uh, but yeah, seriousness comes with Saturn. They have to get everything done or they like freak out. <laughs> but um, sometimes that is uh, like, like um, relevant, sometimes it isn't. Like I said, sometimes Capricorns are really lazy and sometimes they're really hardworking. There's no in between with them. And I think that comes with seriousness. They either let themselves loose a little too much or they keep their straight face. Sometimes, well, most of the time they do keep their straight face and they try to have their let loose moments just with their friends because their let loose moments are really, like, out there, you know? They want to make their friends laugh and just, and want to make themselves laugh too. You know, they want to have a nice story to tell people on the internet. They want to have a nice YouTube story time video out there for you dudes. Now, now the conservatism thing, while um, conservative does not mean what it means in astrology, it is like the feminine masculine thing, conservative and liberal, ah, and liberal, ah, liberal, fuck, liberal do not mean like in political ideologies like masculine feminine do not mean gender expression in astrology. It is very weird. Um, conservative just means that you'd rather like stay in like you know stay in your own bubble and not have anyone pop it. You'd rather be comfortable with things. It is a feminine quality. It is you don't want people to come at you and you don't want to come at people. That is what it mainly means. Doesn't mean that you're like less open-minded and that you're a right wing. It does not mean that at all in astrology. It just means that you just want to chill in your own bubble and not really think any further from that. But Saturn, you know, you gotta remember Capricorn's ruled by Saturn. Saturn really kicks Capricorn out of that little conservative comfort zone and is like, you know, you should go out in the world because the 10th house is public reputation, all right? It, it really is. So Capricorn does have to, you know, get nudged out of that bubble at some point, you know, evolved Capricorns, brain ascended Capricorns. They already left that bubble. Saturn already kicked them out and that's just, you know, what Saturn does. It'll kick out that little your little, um, not wanting to get out of your bubble self to get out of your bubble. And I think we're done here, which is lit. I'm sorry that I'm out of it. I just feel like I have to upload something because I feel really bad for not uploading anything. And I, next video is probably going to be me talking about Cage the Elephant or talking about motivation in general, so... Hopefully that will be out this week. Um, peace out. I hope you have a lovely day and whatnot. Hug a tree.